So here we're doing 2.1, graphing a vertical or horizontal line. So we need to know some information first. If you have the equation x equals a number, that is a vertical line. And where does that vertical line occur? At whatever x value that is, okay? And then y equals a number is going to be a horizontal line. So where does that horizontal line occur? It depends on what that y value is. If it's positive, it'll be above the x-axis. If it's a negative y value, it'll be below the y-axis. The same with the vertical lines. If it's positive x value, it'll be to the right of the y-axis. If it's a negative x value, it'll be to the left of the um, y-axis. If it's x equals zero, it'll land on top of the y-axis. And if it's y equals zero, it'll land on top of the x-axis. Okay, so let's graph this one. How do I do that in Alex, right? Like I know visually it should be, because it's y equals, it should be a horizontal number, a horizontal line, I'm sorry. And I know because it's positive five, it should be up here at one, two, three, four, five. So I know it should go across this way. But remember, in order to use the line icon, you have to have not just one point, but two points. As long as you put it anywhere along the y value of five, I could put my point here, 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 it doesn't matter where, I could put the second point anywhere I want. As long as it still has the y value of five, then Alex will automatically draw that horizontal line at five. Similarly, for if it were x equal to a number, um, first you plot that x value, so this is x equals negative two, so that's here at negative two. And then in order to make it a vertical line like this, you're going to need to plot another point with the x value negative two. So just go right above it or right below it and you should be able to get another point so that it creates a vertical line.